Hello, um, happy Sunday to all of you. It is all about Sunday, leisure, but also sports. Sports that teaches us so many things. Discipline, how to be a team player, selflessness, creativity, staying power, endurance, stamina, and most important, that spirit of winning or maybe doing enough for the country. Country? What do I mean? What I mean from here is that Tokyo Olympics is there. They are coming 23 July to 8th August, Tokyo. Now 87,000 rooms already ready. Nine venues keeping ready to conduct 24 hours of sports. My God, rigorous. And that to this pandemic time. It is very difficult to imagine, but India would still be able to watch the entire event with just a lag of three and a half hours. Yes, when Asia, which is supposed to be the biggest part of the world, and Tokyo only three and a half hours away, India and Indians are going to watch this. Now, what is that which makes this sport a very unique sport is that the character, renowned anime character Goku from the Dragon Ball series has been deemed as the ambassador of this Tokyo Olympics. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe himself came with the Super Mario dress and he unveiled this. Now, this is essentially done to attract young millennials in mind. And we all know that the world is ever emerging as youth, right? And when this is recorded, today is World Youth Skill Day as well, 15th of July. And 23rd July, you'll be seeing a lot of games that will be featuring in Olympic and the plethora of games will be the greater highlight because you would not stop at watching one such event there will be several several games sports different kinds of nature which will be spellbound effect and when it is happening in Tokyo the technology is supporting the technology is awesome there and you would have all kind of newness to get witness because this will be online just because of this corona effect now what is that which India is actually trying to aim at. If you see Indian performance with Rio 2016 vis-a-vis -vis what it is poised for today, it is still good. We have garnered a lot of medals and there are a lot of in the offing. Especially in athlete, hopes are high. Let's look into how India is poised vis-a-vis -vis Olympics. What are the grey areas which India can do better and what India has thought as Britain model copying from it. First thing that comes to my mind is unearthing talent at the grassroots level. What India lacks is a program to unearth at the grassroots level that is in schools. In a number of successful sporting nations, players begin practicing sports well before they are into high school. A child who is good at badminton plays badminton and trains rigorously. Fast forward to India, the number of sports Indian kids are exposed to are limited, namely cricket, football, badminton, table tennis and sometimes swimming. There are no schemes to identify prodigies in such sports and when they do come up, they are mostly from financial stable families who have resources to afford expensive rigorous training and equipment can be highly accessible. This shouldn't ideally be the case. Number two, funding and sponsorship. Elite Indian sportsmen currently receive funding under the Olympic Gold Quest and the Target Olympic Scheme. However, the number of beneficiaries are very less. So after unearthing talent comes the most important part, funding and nurturing. Promising athletes should be allotted adequate funds to push above their weight and improve their games. Number three, coaching and infrastructure. Pulela Gopichand, Ishwar Dahiya and Bisveshwar Nandi have shown what wonders homegrown coaches can do with the performance of their wards like PV Sindhu, Sakshi Malik and Deepa Karmakar. They being the highlight of India's performance at Rio 2016. However, it is true that India doesn't have world-class coaches for a number of sports which aren't pursued too much in our country. The same applies to the training facilities and infrastructure. Developing infrastructure and hiring renowned coaches, rather coaches 
who could work well with our athletes is a necessity there have been countless fiascos with foreign coaches allegedly involving our ministry and the bureaucracy this needs to be avoided number 4 cooperation from federations and their efficiency it is extremely essential that the national federations of all the sports coordinate with and ensure that their athletes experience no trouble with their training traveling and participation in tournaments certain indian sports federations are marred by vested interests and corruption which eventually leads to the athletes and their training being affected example is boxing the indian boxing federation is currently suspended by the world body on charges of corruption and boxing is managed by an ad hoc body the implications are that there was a cloud over indian boxers participation in rio months before the games and when they did qualify in the end they were under prepared barely having played any international in the previous 2 years that also affected their ranking they faced past medalists from the first round itself still they put up a spirited show with vikas krishnan reaching the quarter finals and manoj kumar reaching the quarter finals and manoj kumar reaching the round of 16 as well had they got proper training a medal or even two were definitely assured i hope the same doesn't happen here with in tokyo olympics most important mental conditioning many athletes stumble at the last hurdle be it the men's hockey team always conceding in the fourth quarter women's archery team losing by a whisker in the quarter finals of the women's team event atanu das failing to seize the momentum in a crucial round of 16 match shooters failing at crucial junctures and so on so as prakash padukone ex ace badminton champion of india says he rightly puts this it's mental conditioning that matters the most for elite athletes and all the others as well india must thus ensure that our players have nerves of steel and acclaimed mental conditioning coaches have a crucial role to play in this number 6 putting an end to player in fighting though this isn't a common issue india has seen it all in tennis at london and also at rio portraying your double partners in bad light in public creates a negative atmosphere when you aren't compatible with your doubles partner chances of a medal go out of the window which happened with leander pais and mahesh bhupati this was one of the reasons for indian tennis returning home without a medal once again despite of having high rank players apathy irony number 7 targeting specific sports india must have 3 to 4 focus sports in which we should invest heavily to reap the results according to the current scenario the three would be archery wrestling shooting badminton and boxing can also be accounted as other two because we have been getting medals there as well focusing on these is the way ahead since our players are technically sound and have numerous achievements on the world stage in these multiple medals in each of them at tokyo 2020 is a real possibility so what does this tell us well follow the model and reap the rewards i am mentioning this is the britain model that we are copying and if if this is reaping us results as of now it would definitely fetch us results in future as well the increase in medals have been study from 1996 to 2016 no doubt about it thus following a study plan and implementing it is the key and if we as a country of 1.3 billion people do that a target of 10 to 15 medal in tokyo looks to be a reality and about 40 to 50 in maybe coming 2036 it shouldn't be a problem at all it won't be a distant possibility so the major concern ever remains while you are watching tokyo olympics you should also keep few things in your mind this is especially a high appeal 
to all those who are so called coaches or the mentors or the flag holders when you are seeing maricom and manpreet singh bearing the flag of india think what they have done think of what they were assisted with think of a better provision now it's all about india competing there and we all as audience will be supporting you at the end of it the spirit of the game is very high whatever it teaches in a broader spectrum it teaches us to stay for another 4 years and compete have that spirit ingrained in in us to live and maybe make a better human being out of us so even if there is a pandemic hitting this the spirit is not going to die it will be on and it is for all of us to enjoy the sport and learn out of it thank you